It's long local 12 investigation reveals gaping holes in Ohio's laws that could affect the safety of children. Yeah, those holes allow teachers accused of sexual misconduct with students to resign and then get jobs in other districts. This practice is called passing the trash. Local 12's David Winter reports on the impact this has on our children and some details in this story may not be appropriate for all viewers. She said, no, I don't want to live. I, this is too much for me. And um, that's when we had to take her down to Children's Hospital. It was the moment Dustin's 12-year-old daughter told her parents she wanted to commit suicide. The straight-A 7th grader who loved softball left the game and school after an alleged incident last December at Talawanda Middle School. The details are documented in this Title IX investigation into teacher Paul Stiver. In it, Dustin's daughter tells investigators that Mr. Stiver walked over to my chair and placed his hand on my shoulder. As he was walking away, he slid his hand down to my chest area. Well, she immediately texted her sister. In the text, she said, um, Mr. Stiver just touched my shoulder and slid his hand down to my chest, but I'm afraid of telling dad because of what he might do. Her sister told their dad. I thought this can't be real. Um, I, I would, shock would be a good word for it. Um, the more I, I, I thought about it, that shock became anger. The Title IX investigation turned up allegations by two other students with similar stories. Stiver denied the allegations, saying, The only breasts I have ever touched are my wife's. In May, the Title IX investigation concluded the evidence supports by a preponderance of evidence Stiver inappropriately touched Dustin's daughter. Stiver appealed and lost. The Talawanda School Board voted in July to accept his resignation. Uh, Mr. Mead, I'm David 12. Winter. I'm from Channel 12. None of the school board members or superintendent replied to our requests for interviews, so we caught up with school board president Pat Mead at the following board meeting to ask why he voted to allow Stiver to resign instead of firing him. You voted on it, so yes, sir. you should be able to explain why. Why did I vote on it? Because that, that was a recommendation and that helped us put this behind us. So you wanted to put it behind you? I, I wanted people to be able to move on, yes, sir. Superintendent Ed Thoreau explained at the board meeting why he felt firing Stiver was a bad idea. Would be eligible for unemployment benefits, would be eligible to appeal, would be eligible to have all of it all of that money returned as well as reinstatement if that individual won on the appeal. The superintendent stressed he notified the Department of Education about Stiver's Title IX investigation. This man no longer works here. This man will not work anywhere. Or will he? Ohio law requires districts to check with the DOE for credentials and disciplinary action. But we checked the DOE website. It shows Stiver is in good standing. We checked for disciplinary action. The DOE shows there is none. Can you tell me whether the Office of Education has an open investigation against the teacher from Talawanda? I can't confirm or deny that uh, we have any investigation into any educator in the state of Ohio. The Department of Education says districts can request from the DOE whether anyone has referred a teacher for investigation. But there's nothing in the state code that requires a school district to do that extra checking, is there? Correct. In fact, well over a thousand teachers have been hired by school districts in Ohio this year, and the DOE only received 196 referral requests. So you don't think there's anything else the legislature could do to help safeguard kids from this type of thing happening? No, David, we feel like we have done everything to enforce the federal statute that's in place with our state law. There is an Ohio law that states no school representative shall assist someone in obtaining employment if they have reason to believe the individual committed an offense involving a student. But it goes on to say unless law enforcement have investigated and determined that there is insufficient information to indict. The Oxford police did investigate Paul Stiver and the Butler County prosecutor told me there was not enough evidence to prosecute. Dr. Amos Giora, who wrote Armies of Enablers, says when school districts allow accused teachers to resign only to get a job in another district, it's called passing the trash. They're protecting the institution. That's their first, that's their first priority. Everything that happens after that is, is you know, a byproduct of trickle down. And in the context of institutional complicity enabling culture, 
the harm caused is simply extraordinary. Chiora says other states have passed stricter laws than Ohio's to prohibit passing the trash and harming girls like Dustin's daughter. I'm hoping that I can, she can look at dad and know not all guys are bad, or she can look at her ball coaches and know not all guys are bad, but that's always going to be in the back of her mind, is what is this guy's intention? What is he going to do? In Oxford, this is David Winter, Local 12 News. The DOE says that only one third of one percent of Ohio teachers are referred annually for conduct unbecoming of the profession. With 106,000 teachers in Ohio, though, that means more than 350 teachers are investigated annually.